Alright, here we go. Hand on the yoke, always. No way you're applying the cross controls positively. Checking final. Go for it, take off. All right. All right, power. Those are in the green. Stay off the brake. That's it. Well, just a small little good speed nudge on the right on. rudder. There we go. Rotating. Come on, lift up. All right, there we go. Nicely done. Right rudder. Stay coordinated. Climb at 80. Come on. Smooth. Be smooth. All right. So briefly Sweet. lower the nose to clear for traffic. Now bring the nose back up to uh, 80, to pitch for 80 miles an hour. Okay. All right, nice and stable here. We're at 2,979 feet, All right? What I'd like you to do is first do a steep turn. Your direction, your choice on the direction, but your rollout point is the ski area. Okay. Is this the steep turn? Yep, steep turn, 45 degrees of bank. I'll start pull. There we go. Minimum traffic tells us that they found it on FA2 on minimum traffic. Minimum traffic has 6835 hotel turning. Final to one minimum traffic. Oh, fantastic. All right. Now, did you feel that? A little bump? Yeah. That was your wake turbulence. That means you flew through the same airspace. That was great. I thought you bumped me on the I back didn't of do the shit. <laughs> that was that was you. <laughs> All right. Now you're gonna do a right hand turn, you're not gonna look out you're not gonna look inside, you're gonna look outside. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right, good. You're going to use sound of the airplane to tell if you're speeding up or slowing down. That means you're descending or climbing. You're going to use the horizon for your reference. Or bank. And use your butt for the G's. So I want to feel a little bit heavy in the seat. There we go. Okay. I'm suspecting we're losing a little bit of airspeed because I can hear the RPMs decrease slightly. Okay. We'll see. <laughs> well, yeah, so you climbed. Climbed a couple hundred feet. So I'd like okay. to do that again. This time you'll have the instruments. Help you out. 3,140 feet. Airspeed's a little bit fast, so come back on the, R on the RPM slightly. If you want to slow down the airplane five knots, just pull back on the nose a little bit. That'll bleed off that. See how it bleeds off that airspeed? Okay. That doesn't affect your altitude much. All right, so now reset your power in your pit. Try, try that right-hand turn again. See how I told you we climbed? Yes. As advertised. <laughs> yeah. Four and a half to the southwest inbound full stop. All right, so we did a little slip there, so add a little rudder in that right-hand turn. There we go. I can feel I can feel it's coming coming to the inside of the turn. All right, so listen to that RPM. See how it's winding back. Let the nose drop. Let the nose drop a little bit. Relax oh, the back. Right. There we go. Okay, excellent. I can feel the difference. All right, so what I'd like you to do is just do another turn, a complete turn here. 
practice staying at that level, at that level uh, attitude. One more 360. Look how the nose is climbing. Yep. All right. Let the nose slice back down the horizon. Release your back pressure. That's it. Well, you'll you'll learn how to play this one out. So if you nose if your nose climbs. You have two ways to fix it. Release the back pressure or increase your bank angle. Or your lift vector more horizontal, less vertical, the nose will slice down. Okay? All right. Let's try it again. What I'm struggling with a little bit is getting the horizon. All right. That's because you're on that upper side of the turn. So more bank angle. Try to set that 45 degree approximate. There we go. That's 45. Now get on the pole. That's it. Leading off a little airspeed, add a little power. And you want to keep that intersection right where it is. Nose is slicing down. Come out of the bank slightly. Excellent. Just even less adjustment. There's your weight turbulence again. Nice. <laughs> All right, good. All right, let's turn to the uh, 90 degrees to the left. Big, uh, head toward the nuke plant. See it? No, but I know which way 90 degrees was. Oh, uh, good. There's the nuke plant right there. Oh, okay. Right. Now let's slow it down to 60. You have 10 seconds to slow it to 60 miles an hour. Load up the wing. There we go. Nice. 60 Victor is downwind 2-1 minute, man. Good. Catch the 60 miles an hour with your power. Nicely done. We have a low-ish power setting, car repeat. When I'm below 2,000 RPM for extended period of time, I'll just add some car repeat there. All right, so now I'd like you to take me, take me to the stall horn, and then I'll relax the back pressure, take me out of it. There, relax the back pressure slightly. Good. So about 50, 50 miles an hour is when that stall horn comes on. So let's see if we can fly 52 miles an hour-ish. Don't stare at that airspeed indicator. Kind of eyeball it every once in a while. All right, so there's the horn. A little more power. Release the back pressure slightly. Right there, 55 seems to be it. Traffic 62 Victor is turning base. I'm turning that down. All right, so we're right on the edge. Nice and level. 2,860 feet, 55 miles an hour. All right, so what, what I'd like you to do is a 180 degree turn, coordinate it, so go into a nice easy bank angle, coordinate the rudder and ailerons. And 180 degrees. Maintain this altitude and this airspeed. See how the airspeed's coming up? Put, get, bring the pitch up. Left crosswind to one whenever traffic. Roll up here. Got some cloud decks coming in. Look at that. All right, so slow the airplane down to 60 miles an hour again. Turning left downwind to one whenever traffic. Let's see how that nose is doing. Up on that ball a little bit. We can see, hear the airplane how it changes changes noise when you're in, when you're in, just come off the rudder entirely. Yeah, you have to use your aileron contract. So now step on that rudder, step on the ball, center the ball. Like the sound gets deeper. Yep. 
Air Traffic Sport 020, entering a 45 downwind, runway 18, pitch field. All right. So now what I'd like you to do is, when you do the turn, I would like you to push down on the nose slightly, unload the wing, and then roll into a turn rapidly, but just to 30 degrees of bank. Unload, then roll. Wings are a little bit more responsive. Yeah. All right. Roll out again, same way. Unload, then roll. I'll bring the nose up. Now what I'd like you to do, roll into the bank angle while the wing's loaded up and feel the mushiness. Okay. So keep the nose high and roll into that turn. See how slow the airplane responds? Yeah. So if you're in a stall in a turn and you try to use those ailerons, the airplane's just going to go, uh-uh. Or it'll do quite the opposite. It'll wrap up in the same, in the opposite direction of what you want to go. All right. We have now slow flighted this airplane. I'd like you to now put it into a power off stall. So let the nose drop into your landing or final approach attitude. Ah, huh? good. Established about a 60 mile, 65 mile an hour glide. You want flaps? Yep, and flaps 40. 40? All the way down. All right. Let it, let it fly at 65 for a couple seconds. And then when you hit 65, bring the nose up, put your toes on the horizon, hold it into a full stall, and then recover. Hand on the throttle. There you go. Not so much of a pitch, no negative G's necessary. <laughs> All right. You did what you're told, but the nose helped you out already. So we're going to do that again. Now you know how much, how much you don't have to push. Yes. Don't push. Just let go of the back pressure. Pretty much. And we'll see what, uh, what we lost. <laughs> Yep. Too much. Little 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 uh, backfiring there. All right, so let's clear one more time. Lower the nose for any traffic. All right, good. Let's set that up again. Off. Idle. Laps. Yeah, it's not a comfortable maneuver. No, not. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the nose will drop for you. It's, yeah, so we'll, we'll figure out the, how much back pressure you need. It's, you just want to make sure the nose is coming down when you're in that to, to recover from the stall. Okay, let's do that. Let's do, put it into a stall. Fabric traffic, 9394. Yeah, not even that much. There we go. Good job on the flaps. vertical speed. All right. Yeah, we'll reverse it. Nicely done. Hampton, 6 Oracle Fox, one mile west over, fly the field, uh, enter left downwind. Okay. So we're not going to do that 45, because I think drop. I just want to stay, okay. you know, pretty close. Ah, this is kind of fun. do is a direct entry, so we're essentially on a crosswind, and you just turn downwind. Okay. I'll have you do, uh, I'll have you do the, uh, the whole pattern, and land. How's that sound? Sounds good. All righty then. What? All right. <laughs> <laughs> That's one of my favorites. And I didn't get that on video. That was what Damn I it. wanted more than anything. <laughs> All right. So as you cross over at 100 miles an hour, if you go right to a standard rate turn, you'll get your right displacement. So this is your rectangular pattern practice. And orange traffic, uh, Cessna 1374 is coming up on OMAS. We're shooting the... Uh, and so, RP, slow it down to 80. A little bit tight. Uh, 
Oh, too close to the runway. Exactly. Gotcha. Well, yeah, yeah. Now, so we're angle out a little bit to get your spacing. About five miles out. All right. Carb cold. Idle. And laps. Hampton 6 Park on Fox, turning base 2-0, Hampton. And continue, continue your turn. Might overshoot. Not bad. Alright, we're just coming down, uh, right down the center line of 3 2. We'll be looking for you going through 2800. Thank you. Is that Brooke? Hey, Jeff, Jeff here. Alright, so left wing down and right, and right rudder. That's it. More rudder. That's it. Bring your power back. All the way back. There you go. Less rudder. Good. Good. Right. I actually like that. That was. It wasn't pretty, but In, you know, you got it. Into the I guess way. I won't start talking until you get it stopped. <laughs> Nice. All right, let's go back out for another. Okay. Hampton 4 Echo Fox, high speed taxi down runway 20, exit at the end, Hampton. Okay. All right, traffic looks clear. Don't hear anybody on the radio. We'll use the whole runway, check final. That's it. Huh? All right. Gauges are alive. Airspeed indicator. All right. Pressure temperature is good. All right. Reject. All the way aft. All the way back. On the brakes. More braking. Just keep going straight. Just keep going straight. There we go. Now we're under control. Good. Glad we practiced that. Because you went only partially. So you want to pull that all the way, pull that, close that throttle. So pull all the way back. Okay. Um, maybe a little more rapidly. <laughs> okay. <laughs> because you held it in there. And then uh, the brakes, you can apply them more early uh, just to see, you know, first test them out, see if they're they're going to grab for you. I think it was just more pushing on the rudders than the brake at all at right. first. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't feel any braking. <laughs> all right. I had to do a lot of body English to, I put my toes on the top of the brake pedals. I'm like, I don't know if I'm helping, but I want to stop. <laughs> All right, good. Uh, tank set to both. Trim set to take off. Flaps up, off. Mixture rich. Carb cold. Magnetos both. Battery alternator on. Primer stowed and locked. 